Gus had a spine was that the score more inspiring? Yeah, it was, um, it was really looking forward to the occasion. Obviously, um, big uh, big day for Sean Johnson and the guys departing their club. But, um, you know, we we're really excited about it. But we definitely didn't start the way we wanted to. We um, yeah, probably started exactly the way we didn't want to. Um, you know, 70% possession to them in the first 20 minutes and, yeah, down 12-0. Um, you know, sort of played right into their hands. But really proud of our guys to fight back from that. Draw back possession, um, yeah, and, and get ourselves back into the game. But um, second half, much happier with how we played. Uh, we built a good completion rate, made some adjustments at half time, and, and played more to the conditions in the second half. And yeah, it was, it was a, a much better second half from our point of view. What was the decision? Oh, we just had to tidy up a few things. Obviously, um, we killed ourselves with possession in the first 20 minutes, and that was obvious. Um, and defensively, we weren't quite working the way we wanted to. I thought we started the game, uh, yeah, I don't like using the word flat, but I, I felt like we started a little bit flat. We didn't have the same energy about us that, that we normally do. Um, you know, we had a really hot conditions in Bundaberg last week, um, heavy track, come back, didn't get much training at the start of the week and then had to fly over here. And um, I sort of, sort of thought that was a bit telling on us at the start of the game, but you know, for us, for our guys to um, fight back from that, fight through that sort of threshold and then, you know, play the way we wanted to in the second half. I thought it was a yeah, great science for us. And did you discuss during the week that I mean the Warriors were likely to be emotional and, and how you were going to handle it? Yeah, we knew we knew exactly what the game was going to look like. We knew they were going to come out firing. Um, we knew we weren't going to get many decisions go our way. And I thought, you know, well, we didn't start well. We we actually moved on from things pretty quickly. It was a, a real credit to these guys, their, their mental skills, uh, work they've put in that were able to flush what happened in the first 20 minutes and move on and, and play pretty well for the rest of the game. Stephen, what was it in, I guess, the middle part of that first half that started working for your boys that uh, allowed you to kind of get that ball? Yeah, I think just holding the ball. Uh, like Coach said, um, we gave them like 70% of the ball, um, exactly what we didn't want at the start of the game, and they had the momentum the whole first 20 minutes. And um, yeah, the boys were talking about it behind the post, just trying to um, fight off their momentum and try and build, build pressure again. And um, once we um, started getting our mojo and holding the ball, um, that's where our three tries came in before, um, before half time. So. Um, definitely got something to work on um, throughout the week. Uh, just the start of the game. Uh, don't want to be um, catching up. Um, want to start fast. How big is a win like that? Uh, I guess in your top four chances. Yeah, massive win. Um, I think we knew what um, what they were playing for, and um, us boys, we know what we're playing for as well. And um, just taking a week by week um, training session at a time, and um, that's what I love about these boys. Um, training is always fun. Coming in, um, always wanting to learn um, to get better, and. Um, that's what this group um, stands on and um, comes out on the field as well. So. Coach, you boys are sitting in a, a much nicer position than you had last year. Is, what's been behind the, the turnarounds? Hard work, um, coming together as a group, uh, totally committing to what we believe in. You know, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of people behind it, but there's a lot of, um, yeah, just total commitment to what we're doing. Um, you can see it out there, you can see the, the love they have for each other. Um, and it's just a privilege to be a part of it at the moment. And the, uh, all the Bulldogs stayed out there for the um, ceremony for sure afterwards, showing the respect they got for him. What do you, what do you think Sean's legacy is? Oh, he's just been such a great player for a long time. Um, you know, he's broken our hearts here a couple of times and had some moments. And I thought he had some really good moments today. He looked dangerous with the ball, showed what a class player he is. And, you know, I thought it was a really good occasion for him. Um, yeah. And, but for us as well, like we had Birdo's 100th game as well. And we, we really wanted to honour that. Um, and I thought we did that really well. So yeah, for us, so we were just grateful to be a real part of a really cool celebration and a great atmosphere. And um, yeah, just happy to walk away with two points. Can you celebrate Birdo again when you get home? So I've noticed he got booed when he walked out of the time. Oh, did he? Um, yeah, look, we're really excited about getting home next week. We've been, you know, we've been travelling around, uh, around, you know, Townsville, Brisbane, back to Sydney, Bundaberg, um, over to New Zealand. So we're really excited to get back to a call next week. We've got two home games coming up. Uh, our fans, I think, are going to be really excited to see us play. Um, the solo play we're playing right now, Bill Moore, I think, is going off again. So, um, yeah, we're very excited to get home. We'll honour Kickow had his 150th last week and um, Birdo's 100th tonight. So we'll go back and honour those two guys and, and be really excited about playing in front of our home fans. Stephen, uh, probably two last sheets. 
Yeah, it's mad. Um, I think speaking to him um, earlier on in the year, uh, kind of whispered it to me. So it's pretty, pretty cool. A big name like him um, coming back and representing Samoa. But yeah, I haven't really um, thought about the end of the year yet. Um, just uh, working hard um, here at the Dogs, um, trying to chase something special. Um, and then when we get to that time, and uh, we can celebrate that as well. Did you help convince him then? No, I haven't really spoken to him. Eh? Um, yeah, I haven't uh, really had a relationship with him either, but um, yeah, he's kind of one of the biggest names that uh, we can probably get for Samoa. But um, yeah, like I said, I haven't really um, thought about uh, what I'm going to do at the end of the year. Um, like I said, we've got something special that we're trying to chase here as a club and uh, for our community as well, and um, that's what we're looking at first. Cool, thanks, guys.